Hey guys, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Pink Villa. Isn't that just a gorgeous, gorgeous day? All right, we have some fun for you today. And nothing starts before a cup of coffee. But wait, there's something more. What is this? I did not expect this at all. Let's see what is in it. This is for a Miss Jennifer Winget. Do we know what? I don't care. Let's just see. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, okay. So there are some cards. There are some questions that I need to answer. I think only then will I get my cup of coffee because really it is empty. Okay. So I think the trick is to answer the questions and then I might just get my coffee. So I need my coffee and I'm on it. Come on. All right. So the first being the secret to my beauty is sleep, man. Lots and lots. I could just sleep here right now. Right now. So lots and lots of sleep. Jennifer Winget on a lazy day is like Have you seen Ice Age? I'm set the slot. Really. I'm on my off days I can be quite a slob. I'm see that's why sleep is very important for me. Jennifer Winget's favorite fragrance is Burberry. Always it's just been my favorite fragrance like forever. I can't wear anything else. Stripes, florals, checks. Which one is Miss Winget's style? Oh, stripes all the way, all the way, any day. All right. If I if I could style one person in the entire world, he she would be Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. I think he's yeah him. Not that he's stylish enough already, but yeah, just to be in close proximity with with him would be nice. <laughs> Can I get my coffee now? I've answered all your questions. I need coffee. Give me coffee. Come, let's look for coffee. Come on. Now it's time for my coffee. Oops. But there isn't any coffee. I think this. I don't think I'm gonna get my coffee to. Yeah, but look what we found here. Pringles and another envelope. I think after this, I might just get my coffee. Yeah. Let's just see what's in it. So, what do we have in here? Oh, some more questions. There's some more things you want to know about me. I shall, since I'm sitting in the kitchen, I don't have my coffee. At least eat something here yeah, while answering the questions. So, what did this say? A dish I don't mind putting weight for. Pani puri, man. How can you say no to pani puri? So, pani puri. And what it is? Three things I can cook without burning it. Shit. Okay. Eggs. Maggie. Tea maybe. I'm, I'm quite challenged in the kitchen. Like, see there's nothing in my kitchen. It <laughs> just pushed over. <laughs> Name three sweet dishes you cannot live without. Oh, okay. Mm, my Dutch truffle cake. My, my fridge is always... Uh, my fridge always has one. And... Um, Sweet dishes, gulab jamun and uh, mm, gajar ka halwa. Yeah. All right. I'm a live for food or eat food for a living kind of. I'm stuffing my face with chips, so I think that answers your question. That you know, when I that I live for food. The yummiest lunchbox I had on set. My mother, she sends me the most amazing food and I've got the best mommy ever. So I have um, good food every day. I can binge on this junk food for life. Um, samosas. Until I, uh, yeah, I can never give that up until I start looking like one. <laughs> if I was a food item, I would be Sushi. I would like to be sushi. Because I'll tell you why. Because people have a perception about sushi that they, you know, they not everybody likes it. It's not. It's not. Um, you have to acquire a taste for it. So they already have their uh, their assumption about it. But it's 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 really really yum and it's really healthy. So yeah, sushi. Not pina colada, but my favorite drink is bloody. 
I love bloody Mary. I love it. You can drink glasses and glasses. Hey, I've answered all these questions. I I need my coffee. You know what? I'm. I, have, I think I've given up on coffee now. I don't think I'm gonna get my coffee. Okay. Let's just watch some TV, chill for some time, have our chips and yeah. Come on. Okay, so now that I've given up on coffee, let's just chill for some time. Let's just see what's on TV. Oh, see what's on the table. Another envelope. Why am I not? I think I've kind of understood the, the game now. All right, let's see what is in this. This is too many questions. Okay, television. Television has been a game changer in my life, true or false? Absolutely, 200% true. <laughs> I love TV. I'm a TV girl. The last TV show I binge watched. Actually, I just recently um, uh, saw this uh, show on Netflix called Wild Wild Country. And I, I really, really liked it. It was really, really interesting and a, and a, a fun to watch show. One character of mine which I would love to replay. Without a doubt, Maya. Because there's just so many shades and layers that an actor gets to play with, so yeah. An international TV character which is closest to Jennifer in real life, Daenerys Targaryen. And and Freezer and Coco are my dragons. See? Yeah. Favorite friends character. Joey! And like Joey, Jenny doesn't share her food either. <laughs> My favorite cartoon characters were Verne, are Scooby Doo and Donald. Please don't ask me why. I mean, it's obvious. Rachel Green or Monica Geller? Rachel. Jon Snow or Daenerys Targaryen? Mm, now, depends what I have to do with whom. So, for this one, I'll go with Jon Snow. Yum. Dr. Ridhima or Kumut? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this. Uh, Kumut. Stronger. Tulsi, Virani, Prerna, Bajaj, or Parv. Prerna, Bajaj. I mean, come on, she's my mom. So, was. So, any day. So, now that I've answered, I think uh, I've answered these questions. I'm gonna go sit on the couch and sulk till my coffee comes. Look out of the window like a sad little puppy and wait for my coffee. Come on, join me. Ow, ow, see, I can't even walk properly without the coffee. All right, sulking time. Let's sulk. Hmm. Oh, look what I found, surprisingly. Another one. All right. Let's see what questions do we answer. I have to answer now. Jennifer Wingett's childhood dream was to become... Well, I wanted to become two things, an air hostess and there was a time when I wanted to become a cop also. But then I thought that, you know, the uniform is very boring. I wanted to wear something glamorous and I think I'm in the right profession now. <laughs> so, Jennifer as a child was... Um, I was actually a little quiet coy, shy little girl. <laughs> Does Jennifer Winget follow the secret? It's a secret. <laughs> I have my own set of rules that I follow. Jennifer Winget as a philosopher would be... Mm, I don't know man, I think... I'm, I think I'm still a philosopher. I keep giving gyan to everybody. <laughs> Even if they don't ask for it. One of Rumi's favorite quotes. I think there's something I don't remember exactly, but there's one that goes like, uh, "Don't be lonely" or something. Then there's like this entire universe within you. So yeah, that one. And there's an, also another one which says, uh, "Where there's a wound, that's where the light enters or is strong or something like that." Please don't get me wrong. This is what it means. I don't remember. My memory is really, really bad. So. Um, yeah, answer these questions now. I have salt. Now what do we do? I just, I think I need a, a touch up. I need to, I need to see how I'm looking. I haven't seen in the mirror for so long. Come on, it's time to just do a retouch. Everything's fine. I don't need to do anything. I like this messy look that, ah, 
Look what I found. Okay. Let's see what's in this. Hmm. Okay. My most possessed vintage fashion piece is uh, vintage. Okay. This is uh, one sari that belonged to my grandmother, which my mother has. And I have asked her to give it to me. She doesn't because she knows that I can't take care of it. But I really have my eyes on that one. Okay. If there's a raid in my house, you would get the most amount of shoes. My fashion icon. Um, Audrey Hepburn or... Uh, yeah, Audrey Hepburn. Fashion to me starts with comfort. Yeah, that's very, very important. I can never get tired wearing my whites. I love my whites. Actors wear sunglasses because... Um, to look cool without makeup, oops, or to hide the truth in their eyes. <laughs> I would die but never wear that's got animal hide or fur or you know, heels or flats, both. I love shoes, we've made that very clear. Lace or leather, lace. Skirts or jeans, skirts. Pastels or solid, solid. Straight hair or beach wavy, I mean, I think there's something really sexy about beachy textured hair, so yeah. Now that I have answered all your questions, I'm gonna go and lie down because this seriously, I'm just talking too much. I'm gonna go and lie down on my bed just like this. Okay, I can't do this anymore. I need my coffee, I will die. But not before answering a few questions. <laughs> There we have it again. Let's see. I can work like this all day, just lie down and talk. That's okay, I can do this. Anyway, if I had three wishes, I would ask for one, two, and uh, some more wishes, please. That would be my third wish. If I could start one business venture, what would it be? I want to do a lot of things. I have lots that I want to do. Why just one? Wait and watch, you'll come to know in, in due time. If I had invisible cloak for a day, oh gosh, I would just, you know, be writing the obvious wrongs that I have done. <laughs> if I was to go on a date with one of the Marvel heroes, I would, can I please choose Sherlock, please? Because I think he's awesome, <laughs> he's just too cool. If I could cast a spell on the world, it would be, um, I think for all of us to coexist peacefully, animals and human beings and yeah, yeah, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. If I was a student in Hogwarts, I would want the sorting hat to enroll me in Gryffindor. If I were to do the interiors of a house, I would, it would be all white and minimalistic and with lots of plants. If I were to eat one dish for the rest of my life, I would... Pani Puri. You can wake me up in the middle of the night and give me Pani Puri and I will not deny. <laughs> I love Pani Puri. Okay, I think that's my coffee and I have to go now. It's time to pack up. That's all about it from me now. More next time. <laughs>